afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast. Me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to a one versus one. Oh, a whole lot new Fatima. In the West, it is the Angry Dutchman. Fun for the Soviet Union. Socialism. Come on, Stalin. Taking on the role here of the 10th Guards Tank Corps in the East. It is Charlie Tanko. Funding for the Wehrmacht. Germany. Deutschland. Rolling out here with the third Panzer is shown. We got Spearhead. We got Strategic Service. And we got Lightning Roll with Infantry Pack. And, well, more infantry. Checking the Panzer Pass basically for infantry as well. Versus Gut Motor. Shock Rifle. And Mechanized no Support there with Mine and Infantry Bulletins there. Charlie Tango commits very rapidly to a Lightning Roll Doctrine. With Jaeger Line Infantry Upgrades. Tactical Movement. Relief Infantry. Tiger Tanks. And the Stuger Close Air Support. Ability there. Contemplating Norfolk here, aggressive means to secure the northern compartment here for the Red Army. Centre words, we got Charlie Tango there with a slightly slow start. Of course, he has to build the infantry company, as always. Bit of one of the Wehrmachts, let's talk about sort of the things holding them back. They have to build that structure there to get the inf infantry out, so they will usually always be behind their opponents and in infantry. So, for example, now he's got one infantry squad out, and his opponents almost got all got three country squads out. So, there's always that little detail there to keep in mind. Also, a big thanks to Mayor Bimi for donating and supporting the propaganda cast with his hard-earned money. So, big thanks to you, Mayor Bimi. Of course, remember, you too can donate or support the propaganda cast via Patreon, allowing me to keep doing what I do on a daily basis. Of course, a big thanks to those who support me on Patreon as well, as they do. Very thanks to you. You're certainly part of why I can do this. Links in the description for those couriers. Anyway, it's all going to list there for Charlie Tango. Sandbags here in the centre here from Angry Dutchman's conscripts. Part way up here and uh, there, securing the compartment here, as I like to call it, from any immediate pushes from the Germans. Usually this is very crucial because if the opponent gets control of this building, they can really make pressure your fuel and car point much more easily. It's very difficult for the Western place to sort of dig them out with ease. So usually most players will try and secure this little area there. In the south, Charlie Tango is putting most of his effort for now. Machine and them are setting up here. Part way going up there as well. Up north here, engineers will go back, gun is about to pursue them, there we go, gets a few hits. Fourth contraport there for Angry Dutchman, he has still yet to choose a Dalton. More barbed wire there, contraport moving in here. Bit of scooting there before pushing Norfolk's, we've got a lone contraport there. Well, lone contraport while the rest of the guys are apparently gawking at something. My god, look at this, it's wood. Yes, we've all seen wood before, Dimitri, is there something special about it? Well, it's... Wooden. Oh, god damn it. Just shoot him, someone. And get the comments out to do it. In the south here comes right by the MD42 Pioneers. We've got a big push for the car point. And right now, there's only one Gunnady Squad. Charlie Tank Sentry Possession Troop to deal here with Angry Dutch and Proof of the car point. Gunnady Sentry from the north here to deal with this onslaught of socialism there that Angry Dutch is unleashing in his most angriest of manners. Pioneers push back with the console squad there. Could go for another MD squad or a machine gun. Mortar. Certainly a lot of possibilities. In fact, he's taking up here. He's going for. Very early tech, there were just two guns, 74 2, likely indicating a punch is going to be a rush here from Charlie Tango. Bit of an interesting sort of strand there. Usually, you go for a bit of a heavy tier 1 if you go for this, but he's going for a very light tier 1 into the Pentagon dealer, so interesting play there by Charlie Tango. Contra versus Pentagon this though again. Versus Contra builds, getting up fast Pentagon dealers can in fact be a very good idea. Contra there, Corte laying down sandbags, Contra is doing with the canopy behind an old dead tree. Contra there down to just three men. Centre there is open active for Charlie Tank to push up, but of course, with only so few troops, he can't really afford to play too aggressively either. Until he gets out those Panzer Grenadier, and there you go. Can begin pushing on them out, and there you go. Forwards, Force of Fazerland. Contra moving in here towards the east here for Angry Dutch, and Contra is in Norfolk's there. Punira heading Norfolk's, could lay down some mines here, and then we got machine gun covering the southern point. Honestly, He'd probably better off just laying down a machine gun bunker than uh, using a machine gun for that purpose. See when it's that far away from everything else. Obviously he wants to build up the medic bunker as well and I can understand that, but I feel like a machine gun bunker again would just be a much better pick. Up north he's going to the point here. Punch gun the dealer out. Bunker right about done. Of course can be up will be upgraded with the medic station. Comes holding up there. So far, Angry Dutchman is probably trying to figure out what his opponent's up to. He's not seeing a lot there, so he wants to be sure he doesn't run into something nasty. Of course, there's men in the south will run into an MD42, which is usually what you'd categorize as something nasty. Pushing air from the nations, sponsor probably have to retreat down, move down there. There we go, got a quick Ura machine, we'll probably have to retreat up north there. Go over the point there with no in shots fired, and there you go. Comes holding up the panzer in the center, pushing forwards there across. Urban ground is its cover. Still, if they get up close, they should have a chance of being the conscripts, unless 
Angry Death, and they get some really good rubs, and they go two men drop. Dead in the south, the machine falls way down to half size. Like to make a nice comment there for Charlie Tank. Could also try to go for another Panzer Grenadier squad here versus Angry Dutchman. Two Panzer squads early on could be really powerful. In fact, it would be really powerful against all these conscripts and could possibly have to just I think, swing the game around. There we got a bun grenade and conscripts down here. Oh! Bit of damage there, but no casualties. No casualties yet. Panzer I think they should just retreat, though they're too low on health. They can maintain and get too much longer. They've already done a lot of damage. They would see just four conscripts dead. Five conscripts dead now in their hands. Might get another one. Down heavy cover. We take up full retreat there. In the south here fighting over the southern field here. Gonna versus Conscript. Conscript heavy cover. Angry Judge, of course, they quickly land on Sambas. We've got the 2 to 2 there for Charlie Tango. Very good pick there. Puns are gonna be advancing. G for the future way for them. Of North here gonna be in the northern point here. Improved to the fuel point where there's a mine. And we got Angry Judge from the shock rifle frontline tactics on a map like a lot in the doctrine does make a degree of sense since the map is very narrow there's not a lot of room to maneuver which makes shock troopers heavy tanks but also yes intended artillery barrages very effective so it certainly makes a lot of sense oh dear oh angry dutchman are making a mistake oh he merges that was actually really close to actually risk losing a constable either way there but uh, yeah managed to somehow salvage that one talk about a close one there for angry dutchman it's a bit weird a bit weird Mines down there for well, kind of this thing right next to us. They didn't actually down the mines. In fact, they could explode any moment. Oh, we got the two ring out here for Charlie Tango. His punch was they retreating. Got the shock troopers out there with their PVA 41s and their body armor. Back falling in the way. Charlie Tango obviously very worried about the possibility of an NET MET 7. The T7 can usually give the Vermont a very hard time as it is very good versus infantry. And support weapons. Grenade they're off, gonna set the money to retreat and now. Concept charging in there, barreling forwards for the dead army in the southeast. Pioneers got wiped out. Bit of blood there to Charlie Tango since any further tech will be slowed down since so it's gonna require a pioneer squad to actually get things going there. All these shots being pursued over the two two. We got three kills on already, and that could steadily climb to six here. Concept going up there. No to tank grenades yet, of course. Charlie Tango doesn't know. There you go. He's ooh rolling. He's bluffing. He's going to tank grenades, and Charlie Tango is not risking it. Excellent work there. Sometimes a good bluff can save you a lot of tears, as in the case here. So, two thumbs up there to Angry Dutchman. Two to two falling back. Northern side being secured. Panzergun is able to G for the face. Good to go for the German army. Troops are reinforcing healing. More G for the face on the way there for Charlie Tango. We'll obviously see if it goes for next off the pack 40, though another Panzer Gonade squad would be a good pick. Two to move towards the center. Contra they're about to get engaged. Stun a tank, as we can see there. Charlie Tanko is not risking it. And we're gonna go for the T70. Of course, he doesn't know that Angry Dutch calls aiming straight for the T70 and doesn't have resources to go for both that and the uh, anti-tank grenade really upgrade at the same time. But you know, what Charlie Tanko doesn't know. That helps Angry Dutchman a lot in this case. So this is sort of, shall we say, one of those cases where information can make quite a difference there. Shock troops between the Gunnadiers here. Quick engagement there already. Ludwig drops dead to the ground, riddled with bullets from the submachine guns. Fritz joins them in the afterlights very rapidly. T7 following up here for Angry Dutchman. Setting up for a little shock formation there. Go to do catching the shock troops out in the open there. Forcing a quick retreat there. Angry Dutchman knows. First, the armored car, the shock troops are not going to get very far. Face Pioneer there, running for Charlie Tango. Peg about to be assailed. No further tech there yet for Charlie Tango. There go, punch coming up in the rear, Pioneer's time from the front. Small chance of getting wiped in the conscripts with the punch coming with the G-Foot Feast and the one assault round. And of course, the two doing heavy damage. And of course, the angry dash when occurred, the KV-8 flame flamethrower tank. Anti-tank and ambush tactics. Shock troops. The incendiary artillery barrage. And the Irish do heavy tank. Mines there, down, and ooh, good chance of getting wiped in the country now. Down, just two men, a slip of help. We got the T7 is somewhere nearby, I imagine. Yeah, but looks like it won't be enough to save here the country squad. Or will it? Ah, no. It was a close one there. Punch moving up, forwards here. Combined arms pulling them to him a bit faster, but they can't save the Tuzu here, unfortunately, for him. And there you go, the armored car explodes. Punch quickly falling back here. Pack 40 is being moved forward to the front line. Looks like he's going to use the Panzer's bait to draw it into the line of fire of the Pack 40 here. Not bad, bad maneuver there by Charlie Tango. Back here to reinforcing. Tango there for Charlie Tango as well. And fire up north here. Going to lead to the conscripts. 
or a bit damp, so they get into a good position with the key for the fuse, they should be able to beat the conscripts. See some rushing Norfords. Getting more mines here from Angry Dutchman. Thumbs up to that. Good mining there for the Dead Army. South MD42 defend the southern victory point here in the center. Shock troops coming into the Pioneers line of fire. There you go. Pentagon the Beast occupy the church and line up with the G for the fuse. They're firing from the windows. Pioneers are about to get annihilated. You got veterans on the Panzer gonna deal there already. Pentagon go for another squad he wants to. Come to the taking losses from the G for the few building Panzer gonna be support moving up their pack 44 street position. Shock troops on the other side, they can focus down. Club should focus them down with the infantry to be honest. There you go, grenade here. Hoping to bait out the Pantagon Vs. Charlie Tango does not take the bait, but loses the Pantagon. In fact, they take direct hit, they almost take wipe out the entire unit there. So it did slightly pay off there for Angry Dutchman. And also getting a wipe there, were in fact not bad at all. Then there's a need to retreat. Pack 40 will reposition, of course, the shock was quickly cleared out. Machine gun reposition to help defend the area here. Good move by Charlie Tango, finding something defensive here from Angry Dutchman and his angry tactics. Max machine gun there for Angry Dutchman. Provides a press of fire then against Charlie Tango's infantry and support weapons, not bad. Pack shoots the T70, good hit there. Note he's actually using. Oh, he's not ordering it to fire for some reason. A gun is popping in there, engaging your troops. A close range for the G foot fleas. That's definitely bad news there for Angry Dutchman's troops who do not have Molotovs. They do, of course, have the uh, grenade there. And again, tries to bait him into retreating into it. And once more, doesn't quite pay off. We had hoped on this, they still took up a lot of damage as they popped into the line of fire of the gun of these. Punters moving forward here. Seven kills, quickly moving towards 32 there. Grenade off there. No. Yep, he's actually merged there with the, the shock troops using the country to increase the firepower. Two thumbs up there, Chanky Dutchman. Good use of the merge ability, a very overlooked ability there in the third arsenal of abilities. So, very good work there by Angry Dutchman. Trying to get past the machine in here, but instead all they get past is life as they move straight on to the underworld. Shocked was there with three men still pinging from the force. They're 15 kills already. At this point, most of them are conscripts, so they won't last as long as the other guys in actual body armor. See something south that's there. Gonna be sitting up, pack 40 following up. Can't go to post there with the MU42. Over these marching forwards, backed up with the pack 40. Gonna try and pants, but then take it out the pack 40. Not a bad maneuver at all there, not a bad maneuver. He's got the Supporter Cop. In fact, Rush and Austin right now, which would be very strong here versus Angry Dutchman. He probably won't, but he could, and it would be very recommendable. As Angry Dutchman have very few ways of dealing with that. In with a field gun out, plus he'd take a lot of damage from it. He's probably just going to go for the Panther 4, which of course is an acceptable choice. Panther there getting ready to 2 are right up on the maximum. Did uh, cost him a lot of gun to get that T-70 all over with the T-70 out of the picture. There's a lot less of really sort of threatened Charlie Tango's infants into port weapons. So, either way, that should be worth in the long run. Panther's sitting down here. No mines so far yet from Charlie Tank compared to the opponent. Angry Dutch has been quite eager with mining. We've got flare, tripwire flare mines as well there. Very good. Note that the tripwire flare mines were not something uniquely so. The Germans make use of the similar tactics. In fact, they industry of booby trap mines, which is not something you consider actually doing, but the Germans were apparently fans of that one. Then you thought, yeah, they cleared the mine, it might still blow up in your face. Anyways, mines there. Being laid down here by Angry Dutchman. Maximum looking at the center. Contrary Norfolk's there. We got the Panzer IV on the way there for Charlie Tango. The Panzer Kampfwagen fear to support the 3rd Panzer Division. As the 10th Guard to Tank Corps continue the fight here against Fascism. Clearing out the barbed wire there. War trip wire flare mines there from Angry Dutchman. And for 10 munitions, I mean, you do get a pretty good deal. It can kill a model, and it can give you sort of a cons about as well as flares, and he's just popped down cell. You can actually you know, really get some kills in there. The overall, very potent upgrade of, of my inability will they? And usually, a lot of the uh, more experienced server players will be quite keen to actually throw down a lot of these in the later as the match goes on. Then he's flanking out the max in there, using the church. Very good play. The shocks are coming up there. Half 8 to 3. 
No further sign of attack there for Angry Dutch when he's processing up for the IS-2. And we got more punch goes there for Charlie Tanga. So good shots with the route in the Pioneer and they're going to lose up north. Punch squad there needs to retreat soon. They're down to just two men. Hit a mine there. And there goes second squad out there. Is he going to play crypt those with G for the Fuse as well? Who knows? Well, Charlie Tango knows, and yeah, he's going to equip them as well with the G for the Fleece. Pantalone North is there for Charlie Tango, and Deutschland Trucks was falling, falling back there as they took too many casualties. Mechanized Armour Company at the Angry Dutchman. It's going to be time there to get out the Irons too. He could consider Fuel Cash maybe assist for that little goal. But also assist them getting out more tanks once the Irons 2 is out, which of course would be a very good investment there for Angry Dutchman in the long run. Pantalone pushing through here. The Khan's gets Mine cleared out the Panther Force to your weight. Comes there getting hammered. Casualty there suffered. And there you go. Got the pinlock screams onto the Panther 4. Feel good moving up. Panther 4, they're doing a lot of damage to the Constant Guns following up. And they're going to hit a fly, flare mine possibly here. Yup. Jurgen drops dead. Tiger Tango for Charlie Tango. The resource wise, maybe some time away from it. Another field gun there for Angry Dutchman, indicating he's very much going to solve for the Irish 2 in the center of the punch of the versus the Maxim. Mort could be a good investment in the with the Maxim machine gun for Charlie Tango. Of course, could have used the Panther 4 if he doesn't get, you know, damaged and destroyed by the field gun. Push a bit too far out there with any infant support. Definitely, I think, a bit too reckless here by Charlie Tango. Always trying to have an exit plan in mind for these situations. Quite clear, he's got no idea as how he actually intend to get this one back in one piece, the way he sort of charges in there. It was just like... Well, I guess it's there. I hope it survives. So, bit awkward there. Could have been done better. We got infantry following up now. Pioneers and Pumpkin of these, but as some of you might notice, it's a bit late to the party. Still, nobody's doing it. Still merging there. Just ensure the field gun isn't cleared out here. And then we got the Pumps of the Pioneers seemingly arriving in time here. Pretty lucky there for Charlie Tango. The things didn't go worse than they did. Yeah, just lots of corpses around that field gun. There you go, crewing again, but with the Panther is still firing at it now. Betty 2, by the way. And the Panther 4. That was just a waste of manpower at this point. But there you go, second field gun that arrives, knocks out the Panther 4. Pioneers in Norfolk. There you go. Panther 4 kaput. Field gun barrage opening up. The Panther probably should reposition. As that position is not going to last much longer under the intense and withering fire. And there you go. Almost cost them the entire Panzer going to be a squad. Also kills some squirrels. The South here, Pani. And you need to push back the machine gun there. Need some troops down there. Angry da oh, Charlie Chan being overwhelmed by Angry Dutchman, who's getting ever close to the eyes to heavy tech. They're cutting off the fuel. Has bought him a bit of time there. Just a bit. And this is the conscripts. Two kills. Betson T2. Panzer was heading south. It's there. Other squad moving back here. Half a to Betson T3 and the ace level. About to lose his own fuel here to the Bolsheviks. Almost got Norman. Actually, now we got Charlie Tanker laying down S minus to slow down any so advance. Very good. This is the shock troopers who are very close to the veteran in the ace level. And Guinea's right on the south, obviously unable to withstand such might there in terms of infantry. Ooh, grenade against the Scandinavians. There you go. Popped away. Two men dead. And we got ace level shock troopers there. More response being laid down here. A hell of an S mine field there by Charlie Tango. Mine's being spotted there. Gunners being forced. Vetsy three there. Twelve kills. Field gun recruit being hauled back for some fresh crewmen and a uh, good hosing. Because I'm pretty sure that field gun is covered in the blood of countless Soviet soldiers trying to get that gun somewhere. Petrov, I thought we were the Red Army, but this is a bit ridiculous. It's literally the Red. Well, it's the blood of our fallen brethren. I thought that was just a figure of speech. Well, in this case, it's literal. Oh. Season the Sun on point here with the Panzer Gun. The machine coming up the center. Panzer 4 number 2 on the way for Charlie Tango. Angry Dutchman not far off from Nice 2. Heavy tank the Panzer 4 with just a pack 40. Will struggle with that a bit. Of course, you can always try and fill up with the Sturmgeschutz. Also getting a mortar. Very good there. Again, merge here from Angry Dutchman. Two thumbs up. In fact, as soon as you might notice, this is just a full-on uh, conscript shock to a score there. Obviously not as tough since they lack the body armor, but they do still pack a punch. And obviously, versus tanks, it's not going to matter if it's conscript or shock troops for the most part. So I think that's kind of why Angry Dutchman is doing like this. Did end up costing here, so you do too late. Could have popped a smoke grenade. Don't underestimate G33 troops. 
Second pen oh, pen fought there for Charlie Tango. Oh, he's got the rest of the console there, almost being upgraded here to the full man size. Not far off from the Ice 2 Heavy tank there. We are roughly a bit of a minute there, a minute and a half. S. Mine goes on the Gunnadiers, going for the car front again with the Panzer Gunnadiers. Good work. Car occupying the center in the south. We got Panzer moving forward today into another mine here from uh, Angry Dutchman, if they're not careful. Angry Dutch, you know, basically doing slightly more cautious plays as he's just trying to preserve manpower as he sets up for the ice 2 Of course, the time he needs to protect some of the fuel flow, otherwise, the ice 2 is going to be significantly delayed. So, it's a bit of a challenge here, a bit of a uh, tightrope walk for Angry Dutch from them versus Charlie Tango. He's clearly not giving himself such constraints trying to set up for a heavy tank. And then he also doesn't worry about, you know, husbanding as many resources. So. Overall, they're taking good advantage of that situation here versus Angry Dutch. They got there by Charlie Tango. Charlie Tango. Oh, Angry Dutch is not far off from the ice. I mean, he more or less has the manpower now. He just needs to survive for, you know, a bit of a minute. And he can call in the ice too, though, because a bit of a tall order here as Charlie Tango is just rampaging through Angry Dutchman's lines. And there you go, Panther Tank double hits from the field guns. Could be losing it if he's not careful. Would definitely be quite expensive there for Charlie Tango to lose, and in particular in the face of an upcoming IS-2 heavy tank, would be quite painful. Punch them as they come to the south, they took heavy damage already, not in a good spot. We'll likely have to retreat soon. Angry Dutchman is now moments away there, as he's made a break from the north. Charlie Tango's lines there collapsed. Four consoles left, and there you go, IS-2 heavy tank up for Angry Dutchman and the Red Army. This was the conscripts. Panzer all being fixed up. Machine gun there versus machine gun. Maximum caught first in the first of fire there. Already down to half health. Pinned down, in fact. I still have a tenders moving in. The Fangu Dutch will be able to strike here at Charlie Tang and give him a very bad time of it. Of course, we'll need to bring up some armor to support it soon as well. We can, of course, go for T-3476 pretty fast. Now, so all of a sudden, he's managed to get most of the map. He's getting 32 fuel per minute, meaning he's not far off from more T-3476. Machine and they're getting hammered by the IS-2. Down just three men, low health. Machine and they're about to wipe down. And there you go, Charlie Tang response, of course, in the only sensible way in the face of the IS-2. Sturmgeschutz. In the south pants there, pushing back the surge there. Ace level 22 kills in service of Deutschland. Far up north, going to run here with the conscripts. Farther up north, Kamir's around the point, and then Flamon goes off, but no one this time around got harmed too badly. Maybe a squirrel did. Field more button here, the mortar and the pack, or something. I'm not entirely sure what supposed to be shooting at, but it's mostly hitting dirt. Ice 2 strength, line of fire with the pack 40 beam. Got target weak point here, good to go. Nice shot there. Direct hit from the Ice 2 the on the pack 40. Panther 4 moving in there, need to get the Ice 2 to safety before the pack and the Panther 4. Leave it a burning halt of Soviet steel. There you go, Panther down to half health, heavily damaged. Stug ready. Damage engine in the Panther 4. Ice 2 is almost down. It's us, the Panther 4. Medicine's one getting the Panther 4. Oh, and the Ice 2 goes down. Oh no. That's a staggering blow there to Angry Dutchman. Don't underestimate the 40 in particular when your opponent knows how to use the ability. Like, thing is, target weak point is a. Potent abilities like being able to stun an opponent's tank in front of all the other guns is actually quite powerful. Yet most Velma players rarely utilize this ability. So like two thumbs up to Charlie Tango, and then clearly Angry Dutchman wasn't expecting it because, again, most Velma players never jolly well use it. Suddenly, again, with the MG42, potent ability with the Insane Yelpism rounds, it's just most players never use it. He's on the left, Angry Dutchman. That's obviously going to fall a bit short versus the Stu, but I'm guessing Angry Dutchman is not going to try to stop another Ice 2 here, which doesn't make sense, though. I'd probably recommend a T-34-76 on a T-70 here. At least personally. 239 versus 370 ground in the northern point there. Stu with MG-42 support there, carrying up the center. Pin my machine there to the Stu as well. Thumbs up there to Charlie Tango for remembering that little upgrade. And we got another machine in there for Charlie Tango. It's Angry Dash, and I imagine he's trying to assess the current situation and come up with a new set of tactics and strategies here versus Charlie Tango. Stroop bombarding, machine gun opening up as well, Mortar joining in the fun. One kill so far, that's MG1. Fast half, he got punched on the back of the conscripts, 24 kills. 
Conscripts pinned down attempt to reach the centre victory point. Finding a uh, little chance. There you go. Until it fire from the assist the division field gun pushes back the machine gun. Gun is in the church, they're holding up. There you go. Full wipe. The angry Dutchman is bleeding out dramatically in the south. T Sunny pursuing the punters. They're doing heavy damage with this 45 minute gun. And here we go, another push for the cop honey by the punch gonna need it. Nothing in response from Angry Dark. This is immediately response. There goes shock troopers. Will be forced to send him to deal with that uh, fascist thorn in his side. More timing away there. Six kills so far. Close to Etsy 2. Getting a up and the pin down. Constable was a good development there for Charlie Tank. So he highlights the less talked about synergy between the machine gun and the mortar there for the Wehrmacht. She's almost down there, taking out, taking out from the Stug 3G. Back here, troops reinforcing, Swiss guns moving out. South here, we got Constables the MG42 pinned down and forced to retreat here. So, what will Angry Duckman do next? I mean, he's in a uh, tight position. Like, he's taking a lot of damage, he's lost a lot of critical units. And Charlie Tango has a respectable force here with four infantry squads. All equipped with G for the fees and most of them also veterinary three. He's got sort of support weapons, he's got mortars and packs. Meanwhile, Angry Dutchman uh, has a lot of anti tank guns, but he's got less sort of the uh, meshes of dealing with the infantry, so it affects the also lacks until he signs the field gun bombardments. Mortars still, I think, be a good investment here for Angry Dutchman. That comes to their harder work with the uh, flare mounted and Cody with the punts are pushing forward to the 24 kills. We're going to see North as well. Shock troops going here for the church. Pushing out the gun is there. Shock to advancing. Here in the center got maximum on the pioneers thick, catching the tight spot. And there it goes scoop me back to shoot at the shock troopers. Shock to their suppressed, but MD42 taking every damage here from the gun east. The mortar, the stew, everything. He's just unleashing hell there on the shock troopers. Quick retreat there from Charlie Tango. Uh, Charlie Tango with angry dash in the face of such. And a venomous firepower. Back here, nothing going on there for Charlie Tango. He could go for another Panzer IV. He could go for an Austrian. He could also go for another Stug. He could, of course, try and take up Stall up for the Tiger Tank, though that would give Angry Dash, I think, more time to recover. But it could happen. He could also try and go just for the Heavy Panzer IV instead. Panzer there, marching straight to ma Max Machine Gun. Unsurprisingly, end up not making much progress there. There go, Fugle Bombardment. Almost got to fall out there. Plus one here. But apparently. Charlie Tango there has the devil's own luck and avoids losing a punch gonna score to such uh, nasty stuff. Lucky for him. Less lucky for Angry Dutchman. T Fed Post from falling up there for Red Army. Very good. Northern Richter Point Health there. We got 239 to 273. Shock troops sitting out there. We got a fuel cash up here for Charlie Tango. Definitely starting to look like he's gonna go for a tiger stall here. Certainly not a bad idea that he probably should pull up at least one more armored piece here, but it will give Angry Dutchman, I think, then more time to bring back some uh, control of the field and hurt Charlie Tango in the meanwhile. Of course, he still has to be careful with the T-34 from takes around the Stu 3D, which can otherwise quickly do some nasty stuff. Church collapsed here. North here we got T-7 and Gangland Gun these engineers flanking up as well. Good work there by Angry Dutchman. South side, they could do with some more support. We got Gun these. MD42 in a pack 4 today. Still feel like this is where it'd just be great for to lay down a machine gun bunk and so they just constantly like shifting down the entire machine gun crew for that. Fuel cash course all done. Pioneer setting out again. And we got the T3416 out of Angry Dutchman bringing up him to a total of two tanks, one medium, one light. Comes to charging head here. He'll probably attempt to pack break for attempt. He actually should try and flank up here as well. But he probably just charged straight ahead with the T3 pocket. Hit by the pack 40. North here, forced to fall back in Charlie face of Charlie Tank's attack here. Stug engaging, shooting, missing. Then it's forced away here by the T-34-6. Fugans right here to meet the Stug, and Charlie Tango sends that and just pulls the Stug away. Very good for him. T-34 is the gun of these, need to be careful, of course. Got the pack 40 shooting up. We got S mines here as well to protect any sort of direct push for the fuel there without minesweepers. Good work there by Charlie Tango. In fact, we're seeing a lot more mines from him now. Two thumbs up for that. t acting as a spotter here. Punch with season points here and there. We got 230 numbers, 224. T for 4 pulling back for repairs. Already down to half health. 
We need the engineers down here. So this one probably might come some more. Engineers in fact, and there you go, field of bombardment. Martin bombardment. Rats the Panzer Grenadier under a high explosive deluge of death. Shock to his corporate then before trying to smoke grenade, but not quite then. Of course, got the mortars as well. They're threatening to wipe them out. For lack of artillery, they so the field guns is slightly limiting angry Dutchman's maneuvers here versus Charlie Tango. Charlie Tango has yet to take up, but he's not far off from the target, at least in terms of resources. Decent engaging the gun of the ears. Rough Nate there against the engineers. Need to retreat them, get the T-54 to fall up. He can also soon go for another one. Shocked with the rowdy. Took heavy damage from them before turning the mortar. Definitely should have been treated sooner. T-54 still awaiting repairs. Not great there for Angry Dutchman. Not great at all. He definitely wants that uh, T-54 back in action as soon as possible. Stuki Tank hits. Oh, shit. Scheiser almost lost his stoop there. Close one for Charlie Tango and the German army. Very close one. Kotzko's rule on here, trying to take out the stoop with an anti tank grenade, but there you go. Panzer's pushing forwards as well. <laughs> and saying the stoop's baking up, and off we got the other Panzer Court there with G4 feet behind heavy cover. Comes there taking excruciating casualties out in the open with no way of easily putting through. They lack Molotovs and they lack heavier support. T7 Rush to enterprise that heavy support. You can deal with the T-34 from 6 and fix it up. And you get to go for another one. There you go. No, he goes for a Katusha rocket launcher. I mean, that works too. I feel like another T-34 with an optimal choice. Charlie Tango there can take up. And in fact, is taking up now. Not far off from the T-Tiger tank then. In which case, things are going to get uh, tougher for Angry Dutchman. Much tougher. Feeling good moving about. Hanging a bit back. He's probably starting to expect him being hit by a Tiger tank soon. So we'll have to see how that pans out. She's in the center victory point here with the Grenadier. He's over there, 16 kills. Get you your rocket launcher. Almost done for Angry Dutchman. t puts the mobilize once more there for Angry Dutchman. The field guns coming in the north here. Expecting apparently the main thrust of the enemy tanks to hit there. Of course, if the opponent hits elsewhere, that's going to work out less well then. But there you go. Gun is in the center being hit by the t so it's like a cover crumbles. Mortar halfway to the east level. Storm goes just trying setting out. Constantly northwards. Constantly southwards there for Angry Dutch. And then we got the target tank there for Charlie Tango. The center they got shocks from the in 42. Backed up by Grenadiers in the mortar. Call Stuke hanging back. And there you go. Could you launcher? Flying straight at it. Rocket screaming through the air. Like they don't quite care. And there you go. Machine gun explodes while the crew explodes. As a direct hit from a rocket annihilates the entirety of the unit. Gonna be escort. Wiped out as well. Two wipes with a single Katrusha barrage. Staggering blows there to Charlie Tango. It's obviously not going to put him quite out of this mess yet here for Angry Dutchman. But that was definitely a hit that really just gave him some breathing room. Just as the Tiger Tango arrives here to sort of hit him in the heart in the face. Far up north here we got the T-70 dealing with the Panzer Grenadier out in the open. They stand no chance against the T-70 line tank even in cover. They struggle a bit. They're trying to flank here and countering issue. But there you go. And send the artillery cold in the pack and machine gun position here. Could be another one. Then Charlie Tank if he doesn't realize he's going in there. Go see how flames envelops the entire support crew. The machine gun suddenly finds things to be awfully hot. And they go retreating. But it's going to be too late for the machine gun crew. The fires have consumed them. The Good lord. Got the other machine crew, but he can actually grab this one if he gets a consequence of some other troops down in time. No, he destroys the pack 40 rather than let it fall into Soviet hands. Charlie Tango destroys the pack, but actually risks losing it then to his opponent, so we'll have to see that. Tiger Tank through that one field gun down, about to destroy it with the Tiger Tank. Good work there. Comes retreating, does not finish off the pack 40. A lot of action going on here. Teasing up north could be doing a bit more action. Pants for or Stuke hanging hang about there. There you go. Contra trying to flank that, get murdered. Absolutely decimated. Full wipe there on Angry Dutchman. Down to just two in from the squad. He's bringing up another field gun as well. Katrusha rocket launch is almost ready to unleash hell once more against Charlie Tango. His mortar by weight 17 kills. Veteran 3. That is definitely a great mortar there for Charlie Tango. Bear Kid Troops reinforcing. Katrusha rocket launch is now good to go once more for the Red Army. For the 10th Guards Tank Corps. Field gun out there for. Angry Dutchman back to two. There was the Tiger Tank. Stewie Car Fate to Petit 2. More troops in Norfolk. T-54 is being steadily repaired here for Angry Dutchman. It's on the point being seized once more by Charlie Tango's Glenadilla. 
It's not about the punts are going to do that. Tiger tank sitting through here, backed up with the pack 40 infants, port weapons, machine gun, and shot from staying to the line of fire. The tiger tank, though, oh, direct hit there, kills a single shot because you're on, which you could try and fire around here. Field and get to get the tiger tank. Stuke Marine pushing back the T30 or the T70. Structure has been murdered here out in the open, taking out from the tiger tank, and who knows what else. Find the mortar here, add them at the mortar on the maximum margin. Katrina's still not firing. Up northeast, Duke holding back the T70. T346 is good to go though. Great hit from the field gun, but it bounces off the Tiger Tank's thick front armor. The maximum crew about to get wiped out here. Tiger Tank taking heavy damage to the field gun. It's down to half field. Pack 40 doing bugger all. Katrina rocket launcher finally unleashes the payload here against it and hits the pioneers. Almost takes out the mortar crew as well. Oh! Good lord, almost wipes the pioneers and the mortar. Pack crew taking excruciating casualties. Defense foremost in there, trying to finish it off. Not quite enough here, though. Fanger Dutch really deliver any crippling blows here to Charlie Tango, but still, that's gotta hurt. Field is moving up to assist versus the Tiger Tank. There you go, down to less than a quarter health. Defense off flanking. And we got support called in here by Charlie Tango to cut the tree of the T Tiger Tank up in the T 34. Stuke moving in, but need to be careful here. Oh dear, he gets the Tiger Tank! He gets the Tiger Tank! Stu caught in front of the field guns! Oh dear, t for the main gun is out. Run from the Stu. That's going to guarantee the Stu a shot there. And the Stu survives! Still quite a blow there. Two Charlie Tango losing that Tiger Tank. Hurts! At the same time, Angry Dodger does a lot of armor to follow. He still has the T-Center. Correct to rush down to the machine gun. Perhaps he's called the South, he still needs more infantry. In fact, he's shot in a lot of things right now, which actually makes it hard for him to exploit this otherwise great opening he got against the opponent, whereas, well, Charlie Tango still has infantry. In fact, if he popped relief infantry doing any of these engagements, might even, and more infantry actually exploit it, which could have further just, well, basically minimized any potential breakthrough opportunity here by Angry Dutchman. But right now, I mean, the fact he's barely got any infantry is very much the greatest limited to any possible breakthrough here. From Angry Dutchman. Shook here, though, doing its sacred duty and destroying the field gun there. Very good. Panzer putting forwards into the shock troopers, though. Still doing a lot of damage here. 29 kills. Now the T fed for the Angry Dutchman, the Red Army. T certainly hard to work this season in the Northern Point here. Panzer then center being slowly mauled. And there you go another Katrusha rocket launch about here from Angry Dutchman. Straight the machine on the tree line, though. At the cost of numerous squirrels, provides coverage there from the rocket launcher's barrage. Doesn't quite cause us with heavy casualties this time around. Stug and Panzer dealing with the shock troopers. Close 52 then, the stronger shots. Very close. More Panzers arriving here. Stug gaining eventually two shots and added. Tison rushing in there. I think Charlie Tank at this point might in fact just be stalling for another Tiger Tank. Another T-34 out there, they need to be careful in front of the mighty Sturmgeschutz. Puns are going to be a grenadier pushing forward here, T-70 falling back, Shock was there, exposed out in the open against so many German marksmen. And of course that Mortar with 19 kills. Really, that Mortar has just been a great investment there for Charlie Tango. Good hit from the Stuke there on the T-70 light tank. Another great hit there. Half eight of it in three almost. Katrusha rocket launch flying back. 12 kills so far. Not bad at all. Pass the point into the building. Could take out damage on the T-34 from six. But he's caught folks on the Stug. About to lose the field gun now. Oh, not great movement there from the T-34. Took a free hit there from the Stug. Stug shoots again. Misses this time around. Field quick sitting up here. Great hand the Stumga shoots. Another T-34 looks like for Angry Dutchman. Half health, but also half eight of three now, definitely. We got 193 versus 56. The situation Angry Dutchman is looking uh, rather tough again. The lack of infantry, I think, really being just one of the major impediments right now to him. Just really constraining what we can do here versus Charlie Tang again. Has plenty of infantry. And in theory, where to pop like relief infantry in point time, getting some awesome score, but just have even more flexibility in the battlefield. He'd just have any more presence. He'd just be much harder to slow down here for Angry Dutchman. But honestly, just two pounds as well to G43 for free, almost, and you know, this G43 gun is proving to be quite formidable already. Which I'm going to back up with the mortar here. Ooh, almost another four back there with Katusha Rocket Launcher. Pioneers are taking minor casualties. 
There you go. T T two T-34s there for Angry Dutchman and the Dead Army. Another target there available for Charlie Tango and Deutschland. Of North Punch goes there. Hardy works. He's in order of victory point. We've got 189 versus 56 still. Center one remaining neutral here. In the little no man's land there. T for the wings to support and push for the south. Mine goes off the party. It's laid down. Mines of their own. Oh, the irony. And they get wiped by their own minefield. Hoisted by their own petard. We need the T4 to quickly clear off any mines. Good moon over there and by Angry Dash. Been too bad for him. There's a tactic moon to deal with that. In the center, we've got troops from 14 to heaven. The machine gun fire there. Could choose a rock launcher. Close there. we got 49 points left. 47 here for Angry Dash versus Charlie Tank. It's 189. T sent the riding the punch up north. We should be riding them. The punch are holding the ground for now, but there you go. And center to the cold in. I think on the center against Charlie Tango. Oh dear, I think that was a misclick there. Or not. Catching the punch there by the center victory point and see a fire. Katusha Rock launch there. 14 kills. Field hanging back. Ace level there. Very good. Up north, the Stukes moving to deal with the T70. The Mexica Sturmgeschutz. Strikes for Faserland. There you go. T70 down beneath the gaffle again. We got T4 from the flank. Needs to quickly turn around here. No, he's not turning. He's not turning. He moves directly back into the line of fire. T4 going into easily back there. And he just, like, reverse moved up here. He could have gotten the T4 in front of Gantz and then combined the air support. Cleared out the T4 on second. Now risk losing the Stu for that really big match with really it against the T34. A tragic loss for the German army. Deutschland. And then the Tank Tank getting hit the field gun. Ace level there. But with the angle of the Titan approaching in, the field gun has no chance to shoot back and it gets wiped. And with that, Angry Dash gets down to two T-34s against the Tiger Tank. And another T-34s is really in a position to attack at the same time against the Tiger Tank. Field gun being destroyed here by Charlie Tango's Tiger. 41 versus 189. Tiger Tank racing into Angry Dash from space. Ground the center victory point, ground the northern one, he's attempting with the engineer squad holding back here, him for now. Got a fresh engineer squad up, no relief from the attempt here by Charlie Tango, I guess. T4 the taking the opportunity, maybe flank the Titan, tank, take it out. Bold maneuver here, but angry Dutchman definitely needs to bold. We got Nation 6 M as well on the way. The one T4 was the Titan, tank, I think is not going to cut it. Comes the moving up, shot bounces. Damage engine up north, and he is being swarmed here by German infantry. Punch there with Vets and Z3 T for the 36 kills, wipes the engineers, annihilates them. Comes right by the Tiger Tank, 14 kills. Target T for the falling back. Sun the victory point being seized. We got 185 versus 40. More flares going off there, and we got the Eshwin 6M out there for Angry Dutch from the Red Army. We choose rocket advantage, the punch goes here, and every rocket is just failing to hit. Oh, there you go. Quickly changes and almost wipes out the pants gunners all of a sudden. They're close with you too. Very good. Gonna use this edition 6 I'm gonna pants fast and prevent Angry Dad from, from making any use of it. Oh dear. 185 versus 32. 31. Five up north here. We got the pants with the T-34 from 6. Then he's going for the Katusha rocket launcher and they destroy it. And the edition 6 goes down as well by the Tiger Tank with that. Angry Dutchman, I think, is dead in the water. And there you go. GG, game over. Loss here for the Red Army. A victory for Deutschland. Das Vaterland. A spectacular fight here on Holotny Fell's close attempts. But ultimately, Angry Dutchman, I feel like, made a few mistakes and wasn't able to fully exploit his elements to sort of really take advantage here against Charlie Tango. And Charlie Tango just played a more steady game in the long run, just crushed him. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell a friend, tell a family, but don't tell your enemies. This is Imperial Links and cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you all tomorrow again for our nice episode.